This Warrior Sound review of Game 4 starts with a listen-in to Kevin Durant after his game-high 38-point effort on Sunday in the win at New Orleans. Uh, we knew that we, we were fouling a lot to end that, that second quarter. Uh, our defense was still good. They were shooting like 37% going to the half, so it wasn't that they were just you know breaking us down and getting easy baskets. We were putting them on the foul line, so we liked where we were. We were up seven going into the half, and... You know, we like that. Uh, you know, we like taking that punch that they threw at us, and uh, we came out in that second half just aggressive. You know, moving. You know, our cuts were good. Draymond did a good job of finding guys, and you know, everybody was aggressive on both ends. Hey, Kevin. Just given all the talent and experience the death line pre presents, how did you see that kind of affecting the dynamic overall to start out? Who? The the starting lineup. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, just the experience, you know, guys that have been there before, just that IQ for the game. You know, you got guys that could, multiple guys that can penetrate and make plays, and it's good for, you know, scores like, uh, you know, Clay, Steph, and myself, you know, Andre and, and Draymond, they do all the utility stuff as, you know, driving to the rim, getting stops, getting rebounds, just, you know, and then knocking down shots when they get, you know, the opportunity to shoot them. So I think uh, we played off each other well. We're going to need it even more at home for game five. Stephen Curry and Draymond Green joined each other in the postgame press conference, and here's a selection of what they had to say. Uh, Steph Draymond is uh, third in the league in assists throughout the playoffs. Uh, how has he been facilitating out there, and what's that like, uh, having him doing that? That's nothing we haven't seen before, uh, to be honest. He's got great core vision. Um, it's weird talking about you when you're sitting right next to me. <laughs> Uh, Toot my horn. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's just you know the high IQ type of player that when he got the ball in his hands, seeing how the defense is playing him, seeing how everybody's moving around him, you know making passes on on time on target, and uh, and we have so many threats. If he makes the right decision, you know good things happen. So uh, it's kind of what he's been what he's been doing since he you know showed up six years ago. Yeah, uh, it's been been great to see that that part of his game evolve, and uh, you know we need that at, at times to kind of you know have some sure possessions when we need to get a good shot, and he's he's able to, to play, make, and facilitate. Draymond, you very specifically said that you wanted to see Steph and Kevin be more aggressive offensively. Specifically, Kevin looked like he was really seeking shots. Did you sense that? Did you know that was going to happen right from the get-go? I uh, definitely seek it. I mean, you could just tell like that, that very first play, the way he came yeah. off that dribble handoff, where his mindset was at. And, you know, he kept, he got this spot, I think, the first two plays and got a pull-up in the lane. And, you know, that's that's what really gets him going. You know, him getting in the lane and getting to his pull-ups, that's what he loved. And so you could definitely see it. And then Steph came off, um, you know, was coming off screens and, and firing. Uh, and that was big for us. I still think, you know, he can be more aggressive. And as these, you know, as these playoffs go on, we're going to continue to need him to be more aggressive, and he will. But, you know, I think sometimes we fail to realize that he won't admit it, but the man had 11 weeks off. Uh, and, you know, coming back from that, you're still getting your feel. Um, shots that he, some of the shots that he missed today, he never misses and won't miss them again. So. I just, you know, looking forward to continuing having him out there and, you know, picking up his aggressiveness as aggressiveness as these playoffs go on. And then also, you know, Kay being aggressive as he was and, and Clay as well. And this is some of what we heard from Pelicans head coach Alvin Gentry afterward. Alvin, obviously the Warriors starting the lineup, the talent and experience speaks for itself, but how did you see that kind of change the dynamic of the game overall? Oh, I, I didn't think it changed. I just thought that, I mean, you know, we we you play against that lineup the majority of the game anyway. It's not anything new, you know, that, I mean, at the end of the day, if you look at the numbers uh, over the course of the whole season, uh, it's going to be, you know, Clay, Steph, Andre, you know, Draymond, and, and uh, whoever the hell I'm leaving out, you know. <laughs> yeah, that guy KD. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, they really are. You're going to play against that that particular lineup uh, most of the night whenever you play them. So it, it wasn't a surprise. And uh, and you know, tell Nick you know that he doesn't get credit for sticking Andre in the lineup this time either. Okay. <laughs> Finally, at the NBA TV studios, the game time crew of Chris Miles, Lionel Hollins, and Brendan Haywood had this breakdown of game four. Kevin Durant 
was the story of this particular game. 38 points on just 27 shots. Again, that efficiency thing we talk about. He was just amazing. He was amazing. And right from the start, he was aggressive. He got to the mid-range. He pulled up. He wasn't taking a lot of threes early, but he was getting to the mid-range. He was driving to the basket. And the guys that they had on him had no shot at blocking his shot. He was just raising up over them, making a shot. Here he goes here. Nobody's blocking that. He's seven feet tall, and he's got long arms, and he has a high release point. Brendan, talk about that release point, because Anthony Davis is, when Drew Holiday's on him, we get it. He's shorter. It's not going to work out 6'4 versus 7 feet. But there you see it. Anthony Davis, a fellow 7-footer, couldn't get his hands in the way of that shot. Yeah, Kevin Durant, you know, he's a legit 6'9", 6'10", himself. And he has great jumping on his uh, jumping ability, leaping ability. And he gets such great arc and range on his shot. You see right there, that's Anthony Davis putting a hand in his face. KD still shooting the basketball like AD isn't even there. He has a feathery touch. He had it going tonight in the mid-range. So if Anthony Davis can't stop Kevin Durant's shot, you know what's going to happen when, when Drew Holiday is trying to guard him in the mid-range. That's like Kevin Durant shooting over a chair. He doesn't even see Drew Holiday. So he got really hot early on. Uh, Drew's a great defender. Had a ton of success last series guarding uh, uh, Dame Lillard. But guess what? KD and Dame Lillard are slightly different basketball <laughs> players. Big time height uh, uh, advantage. And I think that KD used his height and played to his skill set tonight. A lot of times when people talk about the best players in the game, okay, let's talk about the best scorer right now because it seems like KD should still be at the very top of that list from what we saw this afternoon, right? He just brought it out in the sense that the mid-range is something that's lost in the game. Everyone wants to shoot three-pointers or finish at the basket. He dominated this game from the mid-range. He does. And, you know, there's guys that are shooters, that are spot-up shooters. There are guys that are good post-up players. KD does it all. KD can catch and shoot. He can come off a screen and shoot. He can one-on-one, -on -one, shake and bake, drive. And he just, he's always been a natural scorer. I think, you know, there's guys that know how to score. He's always been that kind of guy and he showed it tonight because he came out and he says I'm going to put you guys on my back tonight Curry's a little bit off I'm not waiting on Clay. I'm going to do it myself he has an infinite scoring range and so that means he can pull up from deep he can get it done in the mid-range he can score on the block on the post and no one can really stop him just because he's so tall and has great touch so when a guy like Kevin Durant comes out there with that aggressive hungry mindset that Draymond said he needed to come out with then you see a very active uh, KD that's a problem for anybody on the block. Think even back to last year's finals. When LeBron James switched to Kevin Durant, he had no answers for KD either. So KD is elite. He's probably a player 1B right now to LeBron's 1A. And tonight he put everything on display and, and gave us a great performance in the playoffs. Warriors-Pelicans Game 5 is Tuesday night at Oracle Arena with a chance for the Warriors to close out the series in advance to the Western Conference Finals. I'm Lawrence Scott, and this is Warriors Sound.